kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So this will be the part four, and in this video, I am going to show you how we can uh, insert the data inside our uh, MySQL database. So let's get started. So basically, we will try to register the user. So for this, we can uh, first of all have the layout. So here we can. Uh, I will copy all these things. All the this and i will paste it here but for the email password then we will have some other so we can just delete the it okay then we will have another edit text and it will be edit text phone or we can say username and we can set the input type to text and we need to make it below this uh edit text password and then we will have another thing for the phone so here we can say edit text phone okay so that is it we have the email password username and phone and then we will have the button and it will be below edit text phone and so we can say center in parent to true and then we can have text register so here we have this layout so first of all we will now create let's go to our c vamp 64 then we have www then we have harun db5 then from here we can create the new file and that one will be the register user so we need to make it the php so we i click on save as then all files and we have this register user dot php okay so we have this register user so first of all we are we now need to have okay so the uh, the steps uh, will be the similar so what i will do is let's just uh, copy these four lines and we have it okay so instead of this so we will have email password username and phone okay so for this we because we have to send all the data from our android app to this php file so for this we can say username equal to post username then we will have phone so we can say phone equal to post and we have the phone okay so we have all the data so now we need to first of all uh, check if the data is already there or not okay so if it's already there so, so we can print a toast message that the user already exist okay so for this what we can do is first of all we can check for the query check user and we can say select static from student where username equal to so we can say username okay so we will be trying to do this with the with the username or you we can say email let's say email all right and then we need to generate i mean execute it so we can say result equal to my sqli query and in here we need to pass the connection and then we can pass the query exist query check user all right so now we have it inside our let's say result then we need to check if my sqli num rows of result and if it is equal to 
is if it is greater than zero then we can say it to be response and it will be the success of it will be true i mean the request will be false and the response of message and it will be user already present please change your username and email all right so we have this response here when instead after this we can say instead of else if the there are no rows then it means that the user is not present and we can insert it so for this we can say query result and so for this we can write the query so for this we can say insert into and we have the table name as student and where we have email we have username phone and password so we can say values and okay so here we can write first of all the email so we can say email then we have uh, username then we have you can say phone then you can say password okay so this one will be the insert uh, insert uh, query so then we can execute it by saying if my sqli query and of type connection and then it will be query query result then we can say response of success it will it will be true then we will have response of message and it will be successfully inserted the data then instead of this else we can say response of success it will be false and then we can say message and it will be fair to insert data okay and then we can print the uh, response array so we can simply say echo json encode and then we can pass the response here all right and finally we close the php syntax and that is it for our uh, i mean we can say that's it for the register user dot php okay so we just close it and let's open our file so we have the register so let's say we inside this register we and say bind view r dot id dot edit email then we can say edit text edit text email then we have bind view r dot id dot edit text username then we can say edit text edit text username then we can say bind view r dot id dot edit text phone it will be edit text edit text phone then we can say bind view edit dot edit text password then we have the edit text okay and then we can easily bind the view so we can say button knife dot bind okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to create the class uh, the method public void register user of type view then we have this register user so you can see we already have this okay so for register user let's create register user and after this let's uh, go to api interface and then from there 
we have to write the code I mean for the method so for this we can also say uh, form URL encoded then we have post and it will be registered user dot PHP and then we can say call and it will be of student model then we can say registered user and for this we need to pass all the fields so for all the field we can say field first of all it will be the email so we can say string email then for the field of username so we can say string username then we have the field uh, phone then we have string phone then we have the field password then we say string password okay so we have all these uh, strings here and okay so for the uh, insert part so now we go back to our register and here we need to first of all have the api interface so we say api interface then we say api I interface equal to API client dot get API client dot get create and we can say API interface dot class okay so this is the way of initializing the API interface so for this now we can say call of type student model then we say call register equal to so we can access the method by saying API interface dot register user and from there we can say first of all edit text email dot get text dot to string then we have edit text username dot get text dot to string then we have edit text dot phone dot get text dot to string and finally we will have edit text password dot get text dot to string all right so now we have all the values then we can simply say call register dot nq then we have the new callback then inside this so on failure method we can simply print the toast message so i will just copy the text and paste it here and then inside our okay instead of login activity we can say register activity then inside our own response so we need to first of all check if response dot is successful and response dot body is not equal to null then what we are going to do is we can say student model student model equal to response dot body then here we can check if student model dot is success then it means that the user is successfully registered so we can print a toast message register activity dot this user registered successfully and inside of else part we can say register activity does this user could not be registered all right so that is it so I think that it will uh, work so let's just create I mean let's just uh, activate I mean I connect my phone and we can test it okay so okay so I can run the app okay but for the register activity we need to open it so instead inside here uh, register activity okay so i already have this here so here we have this uh, database and it is empty okay so but it's not empty it has this one record which i added manually okay so now our application is running and if i click on register so you can see email password username and this so we if instead of email we can say email at email.com then we have the password as one two three four five six seven eight then we have the username email and the phone is two 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 okay so if i click on register
and it's saying error could not connect okay could not connect and it, it is inside this on the failure so we can debug it and let's see what is the issue okay so let me also see the ip if the ip is changed 18.107 okay so we try it again and if i click on register and it is saying here uh, failed to connect to 192.168 i think our server is closed but it's running so i think i have to switch off the firewall Alright, so the problem was in the IP, I was connected to another network. So now I can run the app and let's see if it works and I hope that it will work. But as you can see that the internet, there is some internet problem. So I am not able to connect to the server so we have to wait a bit more and it is still saying that could not connect so if I click on register again and there you can see user registered successfully. So if I go back to the DB, so there you can see the the, uh, the data has been uh, updated and there you go. Okay guys, so you guys if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you and goodbye.